Randall Stevenson, please listen to this. The future of America's smart grid might be through your cellular network because we hear soon you may have a lot of excess capacity. We hope. Stephen Johnson joins us now, CEO of SmartSync. It's a smart grid technology company that really enables your utility to, well, communicate through the grid. So let's talk about exactly what it is and what it might mean. Stephen, thanks so much for being with us. We appreciate it. Thanks. Okay, so put this in English for us. Uh, basically, this comes down to the fact that right now in, in the Haynes household, he may have a lamp that uses a whole lot more energy than something else, but there's nearly no way for him to know about it, right? That's correct. And, and that's the biggest problem we face today is that consumers don't really understand how they're using energy. And the smart grid is all about taking that electricity usage so that we all become better users of energy and become more efficient. So Mark can see, well, I've got this one thing costing me a whole lot more and changes consumption as a result. That's correct. Yeah, if I could have that information, it would be very, very helpful. So where do you come in? Yeah, well, we're, we create smart grids for the utilities, and we work with the big commercial carriers, AT&T, Verizon, T-Mobile, Sprint, and what we do is have an end-to-end -end solution. It starts with software, then communication devices, much like phones, except they're data devices that would go in meters to make them smart meters, or connect to other appliances or assets within your home so that you can understand your energy usage information and have it available anytime you want. How much is this going to cost me? Well, you know, any investment in technology costs money, but the the real benefit is the long-term savings that actually would um, come to you. If you look at the statistical studies say that if you have your energy information, you can reduce your energy consumption by 15% just by knowing what that energy usage is. So your bills go down every month, and you're saying that would, over, over how long would that make up for the extra cost of, of I guess, installing this, this meter or whatever? In, in some cases, it pays for itself in one day. For example, if you have a bad air conditioner and you realize that your air conditioner is pulling on your uh, energy usage, you may be able to identify that immediately based on information you're getting uh, from your smart meter or smart grid. Other cases, it may take, you may enjoy those benefits over time. But the bottom line is, as consumers in America, we have to have a better understanding of what our energy usage is so that we can become better users of energy. I understand all that. I still don't understand <clears throat> where you come in. Yeah, so we, we, we create the software and the devices. The software goes where? Uh, it can live inside the utility environment that sends data from that appliance or from that smart meter to the utility and also to you as a consumer. Okay, so there's got to be a meter or something attached to my appliance as well. That's correct. Okay, That's right. and would that be a, an add-on device or uh, it sounds like maybe we reach a point where all uh, appliances come with something like that? Uh, absolutely. All major appliance manufacturers today are investing in communications technologies inside their appliances that will enable you to understand what your energy usage is. Okay, so, so for you old appliances, are at the grid end of this? That's correct. And, and we build all the software, all the communications platforms that enable you to get that information, mm -hmm. but the unique part of it is it's that, that information is coming to you over a digital cellular network. So for the AT&Ts of the world, this is a great opportunity for them to uh, leverage their network and grow their business in a new, uh, rapidly growing business environment. One, one, one interesting thing, and I, I know you know, we've talked to, talked to you folks uh, before, in terms of hiring, you're, yes. you are not based in Silicon Valley. You are not right. based uh, in that sort of Massachusetts tech biotech quarter. You're based in the South. Why, why there? And you're finding good, well-educated, talented people down there. Absolutely. Uh, Mississippi, we're based in Mississippi, in Jackson. It actually is a uh, great place to do business. A, a lot of technology companies are located there. Um, historically, telecom companies have been founded there. Companies like Skytel, you may remember, yep. were there. Um, so we've been able to grow our business based in Jackson, Mississippi. 